Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Jackson County Board of Supervisor meeting for Tuesday, December 19th of 2023. And with me today, I have Don Schwanker, Dean Flagel, myself, Mike Steinis, are your county supervisors. We have Lisa here, our county auditor. Um, Bjorn is our IT guy. And Luann is our executive assistant in the background. We have Mary here from the press. First on our agenda today is Mr. Todd Keeney, our Jackson County Engineer. Good morning. Morning. All right. So a couple things here. The uh, 184th uh, Avenue Bridge Replacement Project to um, approve the final plans and sign them so we can go to Letty. There you go. Demo to final plan, huh? This is it. Quite a bit of, quite a bit, but there's a there's substantial a amount of grading that's going to be done. You guys familiar with the bridge here south west of town, basically? I'm not really familiar. Well, it's a it's a two span, I think it's 80, 82 feet by 20 feet wide. Uh there's like a timber, it's not really a retaining wall, it's more like a long uh uh, wing wall that runs parallel with the road. So there's on the east side, there's quite a bit of drive off. So that when this is done, there won't be any retaining walls required. So this is a 110 foot slab. So what you expected? Yeah. Yeah, so see what it costs. But... Okay. I have a motion and a second to approve the 184th Avenue bridge design as presented. All those in favor as well for letting them too? Yeah, and let's do in March. Or let's bid to March. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Yep. Okay, uh, the next one is uh, same situation where we're going to approve uh, final plans for uh, asphalt preventive maintenance work, fog seal work on uh, Z15 going uh, north out of Springbrook to Highway 52. So this is probably something new for you guys, but... It is. So is that the same type of thing you did on the Goose Lake, right? the Preston Highway that we mm -hmm. talked about? Yes. Okay. So how old is that uh, that overlay? Not very old. No. So you wanted... The sweet spot is to do it from anywhere from about one to four years you want to do usually one to three, get the original fog seal on there, and then we'll re reseal it again probably about every five or six years. We'll do it a second time, possibly a third time, depending on the condition. Otherwise, we'll be do a, a more, uh, what I would call a, a, a preventive maintenance type sits down the performance curve a little bit more, something like a, like a slurry seal or a slurry level or something like that. If the pavement's still in good shape, PCI say greater than 80, you'd still be doing fog seal. You'd crack fill, fog seal. That's how you you keep the surface of the pavement in good condition. How come we never heard of it before? We probably just didn't didn't, didn't do catch it. on. I don't know. I don't know. We just, we've always done it though. I don't remember seeing <laughs> you know, road seal like that one by down in Clinton County from Goose Lake to Preston. Yeah, so it used to be um even the DOT. Uh, it was hard to get this stuff paid for using our farm to market funds. So if you were going to do this work, you'd have to do it through local funds. Well, the estimate for this job is one hundred and forty-four thousand dollars. So it'd be very hard to spin this project through our local funds. But now, over time, I've kind of gotten the DOT to allow us to use FM funds. Well, that opens up, you know, one point whatever three million dollars of funding. So it gives us, and we can borrow ahead. So it gives us a big pot of money because payment preservation has now become more and more mainstream. You know, people know that you got to do this. You got to do preventative maintenance. You can't just do it and then let it sit for twenty five years and then spend you know four hundred thousand dollars a mile to redo it. So, all that. so just for the people watching, this is kind of the next level thing to what they did in the parking lot across the street. They go through clean it, and it kind of just keeps the moisture out of the cracks. Yeah. So the I don't. It's know. more advanced, a more. Yeah. So there's two components of asphalt. There's asphalt teams and mall teams. Okay. So what this product does, this GSB88, it, it's a rejuvenator, rejuvenating fog seal. So it adds maltines back to the pavement matrix. So not only does it seal it, it actually adds 
uh, uh, maltines back into it. So it's improving the asphalt matrix. So it seals it, but it also is a rejuvenator. It adds back things that get stripped off through oxidation and weathering and everything else. Okay. So what you'll see, the only complaint I've gotten about this is when you just do this, they'll do a little sand top dressing to provide a little bit of friction, but the sand doesn't get embedded in it. It, it gets swept away with traffic. Like when you first drive on a new HMA road and you get that first rain on it, you'll notice it's really slick because you get the oil and the stuff that's kind of on the surface. Well, you'll get the same kind of thing when the fog seals down because the water is not seeping into the pavement and you got this rejuvenating maltine base that's on the surface that before it kind of works into the, it has to actually kind of gradually work into the surface. So it'll be slick right after you do it kind of. So, but it's dry. You can dry on it right away. Or it, it has to, it has to break. The emulsion has to break, but it'll be, so it'll do, they'll do one lane at a time. It'll spray a lane and probably take, depending on the weather, it could take 30 minutes, could take a couple hours and then they'll open traffic on it through the other lane and then repaint the, the traffic markings. I asked about it here a couple of months ago because I drove it and I just, I thought it was amazing. I just thought it looked like it leveled everything again and everything was totally. It, it won't level anything, but when you're doing this at one to three years, you shouldn't have wheel path ruts. Right, anyway. right. So, but you do have cracks. Yeah. So I would consider that similar, I mean, just kind of thinking in my head to how you treat like leather. You know, you got to treat it to maintain it. And that's kind of what this is doing. Yeah. So you think about asphalt, you know, uh, depending on the traffic level, asphalt payments are going to oxidize and wear as much through the environment and weather than they will traffic. Mm -hmm. Now, the really high ADT that's going to wear through traffic. But a lot of these roads that are lower ADT, it's a combination of weather and environment and traffic that cause the pavement to age. Mm -hmm. So is this going off for a bit? Is that what you're saying? That that? I'll make a motion to yeah, approve. Yeah, it goes for letting, yes. Second. Motion to second approve the final um, letting for the fog seal on Z15, 367th Avenue, 362nd. Avenue, did I say so? Mm -hmm. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Um, so the sharing agreement for Alex Davis, uh, <laughs> been a long time okay. coming here. Uh, needless to say, there's been some revisions that Buchanan County has kind of worked through. Um, so they signed an agreement. I think what you looked at, I made one change to it based on another email we got. Um, so they have the hour, hourly rate in here and we're paying based on the hours he's worked. So that was the main change we wanted to make. We didn't want to start, we didn't want to pay a certain percentage every quarter because it's hard to track. And if we're not getting it, then we have to adjust in the second quarter and the fourth quarter. And, and depending on, and I think, now, now that we're fully staffed, what we need Alex to do is really is going to taper. So we're not going to get our whatever percentage. Sure. So we just went pure hourly. So that's in there. Um, they had set uh, a maximum of $2,500. <clears throat> I think that was a mistake. Now they wanted to correct that. I've taken that out. It was uh, so... On the contract sum, it says, this is the old version now, it said Jackson County shall pay Buchanan County at an hourly rate of $75 per hour for work performed under this contract with a total sum for work performed not to exceed $2,500 in return for bridge inspection services and design services. So what I changed it was <clears throat> Jackson County shall pay Buchanan County at an hourly rate of $70, $75 per hour for work performed under this contract comma, in return for bridge inspection services and design services. So there's not a total. So there's no, not a max total. Oh, uh, and they agreed to that. I'm going to say, in order to expedite things, I'm going to ask that you guys approve this based on what the re revised version I just said. And if they come back with something different, then we'll adjust it. But this is already taking way longer. I mean, we started this conversation in August mm -hmm. trying to get this done. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... Friggin' December. So, so right now we need the motion to rescind the original, the original agreement. Um, so we need to we need to do both. We need to a motion to um, basically a motion to authorize me to notify them to we want to 
terminate the existing agreement because that's what it says in the language and then approve this revised or this new agreement. I make a motion to authorize you to send a termination notice. Okay. Great. Yep. I will second that. I have a motion and a second to approve the termination with Buchanan County Engineer as a previous <laughs> agreed to. All yeah. in favor say aye. 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 I make a motion to approve the Opposed? new Motion carried. And I make a motion to approve the new agreement as revised and presented. I'll second that. I have a motion and second to approve the agreement with Buchanan County Engineer Services as presented. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Um, some general items. Uh, I'll be on vacation. Let's get the first thing through. Here. So always on vacation. 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 It's been yeah. Prove that. Six to eight You're months or so. You come up work up here. Uh -huh. You're on vacation every time you come work up here. Something like that. <laughs> um, so I, I'll be off uh, starting Friday, and then I come back after the first. So no. But I'll, I mean, I'll have my computer and everything, so it's not like you won't be able to reach me, but phone might be a little difficult. So uh, just letting you know. Um, and then uh, I did get formal notice, uh, the traffic safety improvement program application, you know, we applied for, for those uh, right. lights. I got official notice that we were awarded $148,500. You keep track of them awards on a yearly or basis of what we're awarded. Yeah, I do for Clinton County. I, I think Jaden started one here, but basically, I, I keep track of all this extra money that I bring in to show that, like, doing your job, you're worth it. That, uh, I, I think in Clinton County, I've already brought in 45 years worth of my salary of extra money. So, I work, I, I provide a positive. Fund balance based on the extra work. So, anyway, so that, we appreciate that applying for that like also that because that's well. I can't read that part back. You hear it in the background? Is it long enough? Is it long enough? <laughs> all right. So, anyway, that's good news. You appreciated um, all the extra work and stuff. Well, you know, it's like anything else. You got to ask, you know, what's the worst? You can always get turned that's down. Right. So. Right. Um, we appreciate all you do for us. So, on the raise grant, uh, we had our engineers conference and I met with Nikki Stin, the secondary roads engineer. And I think I, I think I finally have it figured out. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have a much better picture of how the funding will work. Now, this is for that, um, the big bridge, uh, Iron Ridge, Iron Bridge, Iron Road Bridge. Um, so that's roughly um, going to be about a $5 million bridge. We're going to get 67% of that funded. Now that could change based on estimates and the contingency. I do think, um, I do think we want to apply for that bridge for the county funds. So when you move, we got, there's $2 million you can get for the state aid, federal aid, county bridge fund. Uh, that's the $2 million we got for the channel work bridge. So now we can make another application every year. I think we should do the Iron Bridge, and I'll put this together, but for two reasons. Um, we're going to need money to make up the funding gap of the, you know, about two and a half million dollars on the Iron Bridge, okay? This federal aid is only 80% of the project, okay? So... Um, we're going to have to come up with roughly a million dollars of local match. Now that local match can be farm to market funds, but that if we use a hundred, a million dollars of farm to market funds, we could potentially have to bump one of our road projects. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we'd have to wait a year. If we get this, um, right. uh, county or state aid, federal aid, $2 million award, like we did for channel worth, 500,000 of that is considered road use tax. So there's 500,000 we can use as local match. So it only have to take 500,000 out of our FM account. So if that happens, then I feel pretty comfortable that we won't have to bump any road lettings. So that's why I'm proposing we, we use this iron bridge for our submittal for this year. 
We'd still be 500,000 short, correct? Yes. Now, well, that would have a $5 million dollar bridge ahead. Yeah, but 60%. And then you got yeah, so when, when we're talking these big of projects, I mean, it, 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 <clears throat> if we don't get other funding streams coming in, um, number one, it's going to put a huge hit on our BR funds. And number two, um, the, the thing about the federal aid, I know I confuse you guys, but if it's an off-system bridge, our our county BR funds will fund it 100%. If it's an on-system bridge, it's only 80%. So 20% has to come out of FM. So depending on whether the bridge is basically on an FM route or not, it, it, it could be 100% funded if it's off-system. That's just the way the that's just the way the the transportation bill was set up. That's just the requirements in it. So. Um, I mean, there's a lot of moving pieces when the funding comes together, but I think in order to keep things moving forward and not have to hopefully delay anything, we use the Iron Bridge as our county state aid, federal aid application for this year. That gives us the best chance of having everything move forward and nothing has to get bumped because of we, we don't have the funding. And that's a newer Moorhead Bridge or that's still yeah. proceeding? So Chenoweth is awarded. And got yeah, so awards. that would be we would not we would not submit for Moorhead. Moorhead um, instead, Moorhead was an option to do for this three right. million dollars. Right. So right. I'm saying we do like you're. Like, yeah, I say we do Iron Bridge just because it gives us the best chance. Like I said, of not having to have anything bumped. Okay. And I don't think you guys want to start kicking in an additional five hundred thousand of local funds to try and do the project. Not if we don't have to. No. <laughs> Lisa, half million well, extra. Uh, let me look at that. I guess uh, you know the ingredients better than we do. We we trust that you're doing the best you can for it. Do you need a motion on that? Or nope. Just, I uh, for this information. No, I'm gonna, I'm all for it. So I'll I'll bring back. Uh, I'll put together a little funding table um, in the application, and then I'll just bring it to you guys. You guys don't need to approve the application like you would say for something else, but and then. Uh, Last thing, we'll be sitting, the, the state, the DOT created a new sign grant application. Um, we printed out the, so we can, what's the reimbursement schedule for? Every sign we replaced in 2023 that's eligible, so that would be your regulatory stop sign, speed limit, weight limit, and warning signs are eligible. Um, so we printed out the report. Stacy's working on filling out the spreadsheet. There's a maximum of $10,000, and I think we'll, and that's, that's a first come first serve deal. So we're gonna set it up so you can send in an email based on a time. So January 2nd at 12.01 AM, we're gonna send in our application. Maybe. Actually, I should say 12.02 because Clinton County sent in theirs at 12. <laughs> <laughs> I think about that. You're doing all this on vacation. Where's your allegiance? Huh? Yeah. You need to be back at first of the year. It's like yeah. one minute difference, but uh, no. So hopefully, I don't think that'll be. So this is to get the more reflective street signs or what? Twelve point. <laughs> uh, this is to get the more reflective signs. No, it's just reimbursement. So any sign it's that we've replaced, replaced yeah. um, that just that point, I want to go on the record saying I knew they came out with the requirements. Your signs have to be so reflective, and they're too reflective now. You can't see what the dang sign says because they're so bright. You lose the little black. Whatever in the middle, so it's actually becoming counterproductive in the daylight. You're talking yeah. about, yeah. No, hey, it, with, with your headlights at night, your headlights hit them. It's like, oh, if they're wet, sometimes you mean? No, just in general. Really? It's, yeah, it's you hard to see. You need to go to the you under eighty. You need to go okay. to fifty-five instead of eighty. <laughs> I've seen like, it like in the nighttime if they're wet. It it kind of it to me it kind of gives a glare, but yeah, I've never seen. You know, I've, but I've seen notice that too, especially if they're wet. Yeah. But my headlights aren't as bright as yours. You probably got a nicer car. I'm guessing. Oh, sure. We, <laughs> if you gave up some of your golf trips, you'd probably have a golf trips. <laughs> Say it, <laughs> <portal. laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Don. Yep, that's it. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, yeah. can you have somebody check on? I was out touring and around 80th Street and 400, that intersection. We're piling a bunch of logs in the road like they're like. Somebody's piling logs. Yes. Yes. Not not us. I mean, but somebody is putting logs there and they're in the right of way and they're like almost on the road. And this is at 80th Street and 400th Avenue. I believe it's 400th Avenue. Yeah. It, the closest house number is like 34247. 
Say that again. Three four. Three, sorry, three nine two four seven, eighty second Street. Eighty second Street. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you later about looking at. I mean, typically what we do when we've had this before is we try to find out who the logger is and tell them, ask them how long they're going to be there. Because sometimes they're there for several weeks and that's, you know. I mean, like there's some of these that the way they're piled, they actually, I would say, might even stick into the. Yeah. And they're not supposed to pile them in right away. Travel but, portion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, have a good vacation yeah. and a good holiday season. Yep. You guys do. Yep. All right, are there any visitors or citizens in the room that would like to address the board this morning? If not, uh, Dean Engel with Together We Build. I see Matt here. Is Dean coming to you? Dean's out of state today. I'm sorry? Dean is out of state today. Okay. Well, Amber and I are here instead. All right, so we have Amber, Deason, you and Dr. Jeff, and Mr. Matt Speck. Do you want to come forward? Sure, yeah. Sit down. So I understand you had a meeting last night. <laughs> we did. We did. Get everything ironed out. I believe so. Forward progress. We got the, the Together We Build board has been formally formed. Um, Artist over the corporation filed. Uh, the board is in place, officers elected. So we have the entity in place that we need to proceed with the revolving loan fund. Well, Okay, there was some. Uh, so we do have some questions on some ver verbiage in here. Just, there, was there some of the verbiage change in the promissory note? The end of contact did you? Correct. So there was one error from the one I had sent out late on Friday. I'd missed because originally we were going to do two years and they requested four. And I'd missed in that promissory note, changing it from a two to a four. So that has been updated. And then also their bylaws do require that the president and treasurer both sign mortgage docs. So there was a line added to the promissory note for the treasurer to sign as well as the president. Okay. And this so, is just for disbursement. This one was already approved back in what, May of 2020. 2020. So do we have to um, take action on the loan request again? Did we already do that? I would say since it's on the agenda and it went to four years. Okay. I would. Okay. Oh, We're I'll doing both then separate. I'll make a motion to approve the revolving loan fund request for four years. Second. I got a motion and a second to approve the recommendation for revolving loans fund to together we build as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And now we need to approve the transfer agreement from the revolving loan fund. I will make that motion to approve the transfer agreement from the revolving loan fund to Together We Build Inc. Second. Motion a second to approve the transfer agreement from revolving loan fund to Together We Build Inc. As presented, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Will said he'd be in later today to sign, and Jaden will be in after that. Afterwards. And what? Are, how's our things looking down there, Amber? I haven't been there for a couple of weeks, but good. We painted yesterday a couple accent walls. What do you mean we? You black, were down there yeah, I did. Yeah, and my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law really did. So <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a little bit, and then we have we have doors in. Um, the epoxy should be finished later. The or started again. Uh, later this week um and then after epoxy then the plumbing all the bathroom fixtures all that can start going in um and then flooring ceiling tiles so ceiling floor. tiles yep yep so gotta wrap up kind of the kitchen yeah we have to order the kitchen equipment we're waiting on quotes for that still so but yeah the dream Just, hope is sometime mid to end january Yes, mm -hmm. yes. We have to get that. Occup Once we get occupancy, then we can start posting things in there and then we can start looking at moving. So, but yeah. Do these have to be redone from the originals or are these? That's the new. 
that's a new so the original people who ordered bricks will right. still get we're just going to transfer them into tiles okay so still you we honor that pricing because actually you got a better deal when you had the brick order <laughs> so pricing is all the same we'll just so if you ordered a 12 by 12 brick it'll be a 12 by 12 tile okay and we'll so get then... in touch with people eventually because like the logos and right. we'll need all that kind of right. stuff step art whatever it might be yeah. There will be one more iteration to that, I believe, when there's online ordering. Yeah, a little bit online ordering. So, oh, but otherwise, that's yeah. accurate. We painted the wall that they're going to be put, you know, hung on, and so, yeah, it's starting to look like a real building, you guys. <laughs> and cheers today, Matt. No, it comes. Mm -hmm. it it is. <laughs> you know, John had a problem with that black wall. You could always put a little old gold stripe on the bottom just a little bit. <laughs> Well, Hawkeye colors? No. no. <laughs> yeah. We just had to keep digging it with himself. <laughs> just say. He was adamant that we, we didn't paint that wall black. I don't know why, but. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we appreciate the effort and the time you guys put in and uh, what you're doing there. That's a really nice facility. We hope it works out the best for you. Maybe get you out of the dungeon here sometime. It's the lower so, level. I was informed the other day. We keep saying we're in the basement, but we should be. It's the lower level. Okay. It's a dungeon. Well, you take it, We're excited. We are excited. So, yeah, we yes. appreciate all your support. support. Yeah, you know, I mean, again, pat yourselves on the back if you're long enough, because uh, all you went through in the last four, five years, six years, whatever it is, is uh, a lot been of hard a, work put in by. It'll yeah, be worth it. So, but, yes. Yes. And we thank the community also for their support. Yep. Couldn't have been so, done without. Yeah. I relay that message sometimes at our state state meetings that we have a building at over a three million dollar building that was donated. Is it donated from who? <laughs> Everybody around. A lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and come, so Matt, here. we can get you a tile if you'd like. Yeah, yeah. We yes. said that. I haven't seen the sheets. I was so gonna I'm say <laughs> We'll give you one. We'll show you the building too. We like we do like to show it off. Like so. sure. <laughs> For those watching at home, if you're curious about the tiles or interested in a team or maybe supporting, uh, get with anybody that's on together we build. Contact myself um, or anybody. We'll be got, glad to hook you up to uh, to garner the support because uh, it will be a nice thing to have it finished. Yeah, totally. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good holiday, you guys. Yes. Drive safe. Drive fast. Take yeah. chances, Matt. <laughs> Have a good holiday to you. Hey, is there going to come to Lisa to sign that? Or who yes. Will it be at um, your office, Lisa? The promissory note. The, oh, the promissory note. Would you like okay. us to? Yes. 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 Okay. To call for Will and Jay. Okay. okay. No, we'll, we'll send them. Yep. We'll do it. Okay. Very good. Thank you. So they should all be signed by the end of the day. So. Okay. Uh, Brianna, our Jackson County Veterans Affairs Administrator. Good morning. Good morning. You have a little fence up over there in your I property. thought that. Don't be jumping off the wall anymore. We watched I, watching the cameras. Jump off the wall. <laughs> I've never understood it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just a quick update this morning. Um, for the month of November, we filed a total of 37 claims. 23 of those were newer supplemental DIC healthcare or burial claims. 15 were either supporting documentation, requested information, or an intent to file. We had 13 claims decided. So there's currently 114 open claims for Jackson County. Is that normal? It's a lot of open claims. Sounds like it. We yeah. file a lot of them. How long does it make them make us? How long does it take to make up their mind? Oh, yeah. Well, it really, it really back, depends. Back, back in August, that really opened up a lot of different things and mm -hmm. kind of made them for claims. You mean? Yeah. yeah. So they're, and so they're pretty a, far behind still. Yeah. Um, there's a big an influx of yeah claims throughout the United States. Yeah, and depending on how many things are on the claim that people are, you know, going for, we'll make the claim go slower. Um, so we still have not received any figures, monetary figures from the state for the month of October. Um, they had some sort of glitch where they can't pull reports yet. So they're working on it. 
Um, update for home base Iowa. We have ordered the road signs for the major highways coming into the county, and we are continuing to plan our dedication ceremony for the spring. Oh, just because we just talked about signs, I wonder if they would cover under secondary road stuff. Because we just got a grant for ten thousand dollars to pay for reimbursed. I guess that would be something different. Right? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. I think has where traffic had to be traffic. Yeah, probably. And now, do you know, do we have to get a permit from the state DOT to? Yes. So they sent an email off to put me in contact with somebody, but I haven't heard yet. So if, yeah, they, if they have you, to approve them before. If you need some assistance with that, I would go to the engineer's office and okay. ask them because they work a lot with them. Yeah. Okay. And Todd's in constant contact with them as far as things like that. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Uh, legislation was recently passed that opened eligibility to VA health care for World War II veterans, regardless of their length of service and income. However, they may still have co-payments for medication, urgent care visits, long-term care, depending on their eligibility and service-connected rating. So... A little late for the party. That's I what mean, we all said. I mean, because you, you think about it, you got to be over 20 to serve, and it's been Most 80 years. Or, you know, plus. You'll see a few of them around yeah. anymore. Like <laughs> Most of them are probably going to need that long term care. Long term care, yes. Is that planned out that yeah. way? Yeah. Um, At least they're late like the number, I guess. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. Cool. that's right. Um, so we just encourage any World War II veterans that are still out there to just call our office and we'll talk them through it, help them fill out the forms and things. Or have your grandchildren call. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Great grandchildren. Uh, but thank you for all who serve. Yes, yes absolutely. Um, office updates. Debbie and I recently took our annual recertification exam for our national accreditation and we both passed. Good job. Thanks. Um, and for the week of Christmas, our office will only be open on Wednesday and Thursday, so the 27th and 28th. Okay. All right. That's all I have. Well, appreciate it. Um, again, yeah, if you may want to relay to your employees, we've had some issues with the wall. That's why the fence is up. Yeah. I you know, about, we're not about real happy about, about claims that come in, and then it affects all of our rates so sure. yeah understood appreciate it absolutely you guys have a wonderful day you, you have too. a good holiday yeah. season happy holidays you're you're so happy happy you're just yeah. about tall enough to hit your head just just, just about that point there a <laughs> guild on to the bed <laughs> have a good holiday you too yeah um is this change then Lori is not till 26th no nathan, nathan is not till 26th Oh, Nathan's funny saying. Too many conflicts this morning. Okay, Lisa, are you prepared? This morning, I need a motion to approve the minutes of the December 12th, 2023 board year meetings as written by Auditor Smith and authorized publication in the official newspapers. So moved. Second. Motion and second to approve the minutes of December 12th, 23 board proceedings as written by Auditor Smith and publication. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Um, before I approve the claims, um, I would like to discuss the one that you questioned today. We did go back and look at the bid that uh, both of those companies had submitted. Um, the bill that was submitted is different than what you approved. So I don't know how you want to handle that. Um, uh, maybe we can take a recess and make a phone call or something to you guys before we do that. It's up to you, but I'm just saying that what was submitted and what he bid are two different. Well, we can't constantly, you know, have bids put out there and and approve the low bid and then the bid and the bill comes in higher, so that right. doesn't work out very well. So let's just and, not do that until. Okay, so then I guess would you like me to continue, or would you like? And to... Is there any other portion here that you can move on to, other than? No, I mean I have other. I mean I have other items on my agenda. Um. Up to you. I think we can wait. Lori's here now. Okay. Is you that okay? Lori. Is that okay? Yeah. No, it's fine. All right. I'll be short if they let me. No, it's all good. Oh, all we right. will. Okay. Good morning. Uh, Lori Rowling, Jackson County Zoning Administrator. 
um, to discuss department issues. Okay. Um, we had sent a an extension request to you guys up in Leisure Lake on uh, a property that was asking for an additional extension. We were up there and we sent you pictures. We could see where numerous vehicles had actually been removed from the property. So, and there's a lot still. Um, but well, there was a lot. lined up a little bit. They ain't crisscrossing, sitting on top of each other, but uh, well, you know, grassy. Grassy. Mm -hmm. I can Just the grass that grow up around. Well, it still needs to be going. The um, small one, the last picture. Yeah. yeah, that was the picture that we, uh, yeah. when we, but yeah, so I would really encourage. Um, Could have been the same there was that one snowstorm. And, one, yeah. yeah. Storm. That well, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> one snow, <laughs> snow event. <laughs> yes, that one snow event. Um, so I. Well, I think we're all three on the motion on the notion that if there's improvement, we see visual improvement. Yeah. And it don't stop. Right. You know, I know the weather's going to kick them in the tail, but. Yeah, well. Um, we need to see well, improvement. Nice I, we have seen some improvement. Yeah, it's supposed to be. That makes our roads lot so better. I'd make a motion to approve the extension for the 30 days. Okay, till January 31st. Yes. Second. Okay. Motion to second to approve the extension. Nuisance violation extension as presented is Lines. That's mine. The only one that I have up there that has the um, I just grabbed my notes. I'll get you the first name. Okay. It's in there. Did you have it? What? You have your emails from yesterday? No, I texted it. I'll give the name of that, the actual address. So. Okay, we had a motion a second to approve the uh, nuisance violation extension as presented. Uh, name will be provided. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And just to bring you up to date, we did have a commission meeting, zoning commission meeting last night. Um, they are working so hard, you guys. Uh, and everything we're throwing at them is who's they? Leisure Lake you mean or what? No, our zoning commission. Oh yeah, we had a zoning commission meeting last night. They're working very hard on the comprehensive plan, the wind energy conversion system ordinance, and I mean it's all dry as a bone, all of it. Um, but they are trudging through it. Um, they got their rules of procedure. Re re looked at and hammered out, and I think we have it right this time. Um, and I let them know some of the other things that are going to be coming their way in the next month. So that we're going to be trying to start looking at. Well, we sure certainly appreciate their time and effort. Uh, I know the pay is good. Um, so yeah, well, I mean that's something that we just fortunately have to do. Yeah. And uh, we sure appreciate the time and effort they're putting in it to read through it. Yeah. And I can't tell you when guys, you send somebody a hundred pages, you know, it's yeah. like, really? Uh-huh. I know. And I can't, I want to thank you guys because this is stuff that's been deferred for years well, and we're finally road, yeah. doing it now. And, you know, it's all coming together at one time, but it's something that should have been happening over the years, never happened, but at least you guys are addressing it and, it's going to happen. Thank you. Appreciate your effort. All right. You too. Thank you. Have a wonderful holiday season. Okay. And I'm going to join you guys next Tuesday by Zoom. Okay. Because I'll have stuff for you, but I don't think I'll make it in. You know that already. I have I have time. I have to get off the, <laughs> off the rolls or I'm going to get fussed at. <laughs> but no, I will. You have to take it. <laughs> well. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, you have a good idea. Thank you. All right. I'm sorry, Lisa. Do we want to take a brief recess? Oh, yeah. So we can go ahead and proceed if you have uh, an answer to it. Uh, he said he had to take out a little bit more than he initially thought because of the way the slope of the stuff was. And it was a lot more of a challenge to not to get all that out of there and not tear up the parking lot. So. Did you talk to anybody before he did it? I would say when they're down there working on that's pretty tough, but yeah, um, I guess moving forward, we're going to have to um, disclose that this is what we want done, and I think we did that. So, 
if this is what the bid is, this is what the bid is. I certainly understand that you run into complex and procedures. So the amount of my claims does include the extra yeah. money above the, the bid. So if you're willing to, I need a motion to approve and authorize the auditor's office to issue warrants in the publication of the claims listing in the amount of $887,892.62. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second for the auditor's office to issue warrants as publicated as $887,892.62. And to note, there was November payments to the law center. Is that correct? And then together we build together the bills and the law center to construction. Yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of claims. A lot of, claims. A lot of claims. Yes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I need a motion to accept and place on file the Veterans Affairs Commission meeting minutes for the November 8th, 2023 meeting. The vote. Second. Motion second. second to approve the Veterans Affairs Commission meeting minutes for November 8th, 2023 as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. I need a motion to approve and authorize the chair signature of the Maquoketa Municipal Electric Utility contribution in aid of construction agreement regarding the electrical, the main transformer installation at the Jackson County Fair and ISU extension, the 4-H Outreach Center. Second. Motion and second to approve the chair signature in agreement with Maquoketa Municipal Electric Utility as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I need motion to approve invoices for $17,406.95 to Midwest Construction Consultants, Inc., $73,195.64 to Bill Bruce Builders, $67,205.84 to Kraus Plumbing and Heating, $129,309.25 to Geisler Brothers, $39,666.30 to Rock River Electric, $19,000 to Midwest Fire Sprinkler, $500 to Tri-State Porta Potty, $28,378.50 to Girardi Welding and Fabrication, Inc., $675 to BLB Communications, $1,576.44 to Joe Wood Plumbing and Construction, LLC, $1,280.30 to AT Disposal for a total cost of $378,194.22 and authorize the chair signature on the Project Cost Recap for the Law Enforcement Center for the month ending November 30th, 2023. So moved. Second. Motion and second to approve the invoices as presented and signature. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Motion needed to approve invoices for $4,000 to SA Architects, $7,219.28 to Midwest Construction Consultants, Inc., $53,908.94 to Peak Construction, $22,544.68 to Crawford Company, $15,200 to Stickley Electric, $3,705 to Midwest Auto Fire Sprinkler, $250 to Tri-State Porta Potty, $22,776.42 to Maquoketa Municipal Electric Utility, $7,745.12 to Shearer Trucking and Excavating, $675 to VLB Communications, $8,668.75 to KE Flatwork Inc., $375 to AT Disposal, for total cost of $147,068.19 and authorize the chair signature on the project cost recap for the Jackson County Fair and ISU extension, the 4-H Outreach Center for the month ending November 30th, 2023. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to approve the invoices exit signature for the Jackson County Fair and ISU extension center as presented. Is there any further conversation? So I guess my question is, so the architects, do they get paid in increments instead of so we architected this. We're not changing anything. So no, this that's is just incremental. Incremental. Mm -hmm. Yep. All those in favor say aye. No. Aye. Opposed. Motion carried. That's all that I have for the board. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And you have a good holiday. Thank you. And Luann.
Good morning. All right, calendar this week. Um, this afternoon at five o'clock is the conservation board meeting in first bill. Um, then usually goes to those, but there for any of you that want to go. Thursday from nine to 12, we will have a budget work session in here. And at six o'clock that night, there's a limestone bluffs RC and D meeting by Zoom for Don. That was actually last week. That's the one you go there. Okay, Friday, December 22nd from 11 to 1 p.m. is the Jackson County holiday celebration uh, within the building. I will actually be out that day. I have 30 people coming for Christmas on Saturday, so I will be out on Friday. Um, but just come in and cruise from office to office and see what kind of goodies they have. Um, since we are coming up on Christmas, Monday, December 25th, uh, the courthouse will be closed. On Tuesday, December 26th, the courthouse will be open except for the court and state offices. They got an extra day off um, on the 26th. And then and we will be having our next regular meeting on that day starting at nine o'clock. And I think that's all I have for the calendar. I did um, ask all of you about on Tuesday, January 16th, the union negotiating session. And I think Mike and Nin said that would be fine with them. So, okay. It was the 16th, right? The 16th of January. Yes. Well, it'll take them a while to come back too, would not it? It did. And then and then um Becky thought about the ninth and she said she wasn't gonna be here on the ninth, so she thought she moved you to the 16th. So she's been having trouble getting him on to put in the date. So that'll be two hours. Hopefully we can get it done in that time. So okay, we'll give it a whirl. All right, that's all I have for you. Appreciate it. Thank you. You have a good holiday season. Thank you. And are there any reports or uh, on boards or commission reports that anybody would like to present? <clears throat> um, <la> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> I had something caught in my throat here. We did have the WMA last Tuesday. Everything's going. We just got awarded another $15,000 grant. So um, we're getting that squared away. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of the slower slower time of the year, you know, we usually are doing our water sampling and things like that. So we're still negotiating with uh, the limestone bluffs as far as the uh, executive director, the, the fiscal agent reports or uh, contracts that should be ironed out hopefully next month. And uh, <clears throat> we have that together we build, we established the advisory committee last night to get the ball rolling on that so we could get the 300,000 taken care of. Um, they, like I said, they approved everything. Um, the, the president will be Will Cornelius, vice president is Katie Bob, uh, secretary is Sawyer and uh, Embers. Enders. Enders. And uh, treasurer is Jaden Flagle. And they're establishing a bank account, I think, as we speak this morning. So the money has somewhere to go. Um, because they selected where it was going to go and all that kind of stuff. So, um, everything's going along with that. Good. Can I interrupt? Yeah. Yep. I think you need to be officially appointed to the board, would be my opinion. We we appointed our Adler. two elected, but we never appointed our supervisor person to For the here? board. Yeah. Okay, I assume that that was done to the board down there. So we have to. We never that. opened it. But according to what I read, was that you as a board represented the two people, which you did, Will and Katie. But then there is also a representative from the Board of Supervisors on this board, which we know now is Don. But it's never been officially. Maybe we should have that the next week's agenda. Yeah. So we need to have it on the agenda, Father. Yeah. We know she's listening. So. Might, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we will do that. Appreciate it. Unless you want to just wait until you make all your board assignments in the first of the year. But it's it's up to you, I'm just saying. We can have it on the agenda. That way we'll be done with it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I was a really nice email that we got yesterday, late yesterday maybe, um, from... Department of Natural Resources, maybe. 
Mm-hmm. Fish and Wildlife Services. So they were awarded, and we were down uh, a month ago or so, talked to Kurt Keimer down there about a couple different projects, walked the levee, walked, looked at the breach and such, where it breached last time. Um, they were talking about how many acres was it? You remember? 100 acres, 80, 80 90 acres that they're going to flood next to the highway there. And mm-hmm. I don't know if you've been down there lately, but they cleared all that. That looks good. That yeah, looks good. Stuff. But then uh, they were awarded $390,000 for this project. So um, Kurt has took a promotion and he's moving on to South East Iowa for um, a little better position. So we thank him for that. And uh, Mr. McClyman, Nate, um, Nate, Nate McClyman will be taking Kurt's job. So yeah, they're working diligently down there in Green Island and said, you can't imagine that the license plates you'll see in there and every given weekend fishing and hunting and whatnot. So. It was impressive bit. to see that breach in that lake. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, that breach was kind of, I mean, <laughs> See a person and then be like, we're actually standing here filming yeah, this. Yeah, we're taking the picture. <laughs> <had> to be... <laughs> anyway, that's all the reports I have. John, did you need to approach the board yet? Uh, yeah. Just okay. for pay or whatever. Um, we approved uh, everything. We still did. So you just should have signed it. Yeah, I have a couple of things that went through. Sure. You saved us more money? I'm saving money in all over the place. Okay. Did I hear right that last week that our, I, I was going to call the solar guys, but it's hooked up and running? Is that right? That's my understanding. Nobody, everybody says, yeah, probably, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they came, uh, <clears throat> I didn't talk to them about it, but that's what their goal was to yeah. start it up. A week and a half ago. Right. So Jeremy was working with him. So we had the Jackson County Fair project, uh, which we met with them last night. That's kind of long. I hope to be done there by June 20th. So if you want to sign that yellow one away, a couple for Lisa. I do have a chain order for there that we need to approve. What's the change order? Uh, it's for some epoxy repairs. Owner walked through the lead epoxy. Um, we had some issues with that. In fact, they said the uh, they said no the meeting last break. night that there was going to be no charge for all this. No charge for this. This was the prior epoxy that they walked through and I had to have them repair. So they, they started the epoxy flooring. Yeah. And Dean took somebody through the facility that was going to be contributing to it and walked through all three rooms. So I had to have it ground down and repaired. So this is part of that repair. The, the replacement of all the packs is going to be under the general contract. So if we didn't have a repair, it would have been replaced. Well, it, <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't have repaired it so quick, I guess. <clears throat> that would be our recommendation. I don't know what else we do. Well, <clears throat> I guess my thought is. If you initially had it repaired, then the whole job ended up needing replaced. Do you really got to pay for the repair? Or some part to begin with. I, you know that. <clears throat> I thought of that. You know, I just I sat through the meeting last night, and then you, you, that's everybody said, "Yeah, they're repairing the epoxy." Oh, goodness, they're repairing the epoxy. It's getting replaced, ground down, redone. And there is no cost to that. There's no charge to that. To, to the contractors eating the entire <laughs> cost of grinding that off and replacing mm-hmm. it for that one. When I went to the board initially on this one, you know, they're just starting to do the epoxy. And this was a change order to do the repairs. So this was approved by the board at last month's meeting? Yeah. Well, not by you. 
No, the, the, together, together we build. build. Yeah, they're I aware. Guess I'm, I, I'm kind of with Don though. I'm questioning why are we paying for a change time. order on something that we said was subgrade to begin with? Because it wasn't done yet. It was it starting and it was a timing issue. They were starting it, then they walked through it. That way they repaired it. And then when they finished, you know, two, three weeks later, we didn't accept it. So I guess we I understand, you know, part of I'm, I'm, I want to, if I can, I'd like to table this and get more clarification. Okay. Just because this doesn't make any sense and I'd want to talk to them and make sure because yeah I get it you know as you're going through you start you see some hey touch that up but then they complete the job and the job is done to the point where it needs to be redone and it's being replaced yeah this should be included yeah you know what I mean I mean I got the contractor eating the whole damn swallowing the whole can of camel as it is well, but, and I'm sure uh, I'll be going after well if it was subpar that's for that's for a reason but yeah, yeah, there's no doubt, but you know, most people are gonna argue, oh, we can fix that, but he fired the guy totally and then he brought in a different crew. But uh if you want to table it right now, and I'll talk to I'll talk to Chris and see what he says. I have a motion and second to table the change order as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Second. second, opposed. Motion carried. Yeah, we can unfortunately. I don't know. I've never seen it. It was for 34, 58, 30. 7, or 40. Oh, you want a copy of it? Just how much the change that we needed. So. Okay. so I think you're both at the meeting last night. Mm -hmm. uh, just to bring Mike up to date there. They're looking at finishing up the project about January 20th when I want to turn it over and get it out of her hair. So uh, they've kept it fairly close to budget. I mean, Amazingly enough, and uh, they're just buying out cabinets and stuff at this point, so we can get the cabinets up and and uh, so it, it's come a long time. I guess did you have any questions regarding that project? At all? I don't think so. I toured it a couple weeks ago, and I thought they had a little ways to go yet. Yeah, maybe things fall together a little quicker than I think, but uh, they, I've seen some grading being done by. Uh, and yeah. Royal Oaks, yes. Grading's been completed and uh, rocks in place now. Uh, so there still needs to be some seating and such done there too, correct? Yes, they're going to have to do some seating at some point or something. Uh, it's not in the contract course, and we're not going to get any grass grow right now. But yeah, no idea. We need a little bit more black dirt. They have some other things, that like donations, a patio out front, and stuff like that that's not in the plans, but it's come about since they've been marketing. So the marketing is what's bringing this other stuff sure. together. I mean, it's, you know, as well as I do, trying that that building's being built totally at, you know, almost totally on donations and such, which is a tremendous feat, but a big pain in the butt, too. So you're afraid to buy stuff out too quickly because you don't want to run over budget. So that's why they're buying out cabinets. They're trying to get in-time donations, put some of it up and stuff. So they maintain the budget on it. So it's kind of kind of a deal trying to get finished up. And the reason that you saw quite a bit out there, Mike, is because I can't get the plumber in there because the epoxy isn't down, you know, because they're replacing it. And then the flakes came in. And they're the wrong flakes, so the guy had to order them again. So they're going to be starting next week. But that crew that's coming in is supposed to be very good, and uh, they said they would be about a week. So that allowed the plumbing. You say to next week over. they were coming? Yeah. So short week. Yeah. 
They, it won't take them long you know, if they have a good sized crew, but I can't get the plumbing down until we get yeah. that. Yeah. So it's kind of got Shane held up, but uh, always something. I tell you what, it's just pain in the butt these days. So, anyways, uh, as far as the jail project, uh, had a couple of things that I wanted to run past here. I do have one change order for Krause Plumbing. That's including the current pay application. It would be sitting in the These are the ones we just went through. No, these are the jail. Oh, well, we went through them too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You went through. So this change order is for uh, change order three dash four to Kraus Plumbing. Uh, I extended the gas main into the laundry room for the commercial dryer, and uh, also I just had them provide the gas connections to the steel building uh, at the meter and the furnace. Over at the steel building, they they had to do they're doing the connections anyway, so I just had them do it, that one. So it was six hundred and thirty five dollars. So the total for the gas main extension, and to provide gas connections at the meter and at the steel building, were two thousand five hundred and seventeen dollars. Two thousand five hundred and seventeen dollars. Is that normal? The meter that whoever's Supplying the utilities uh, don't supply the meter? Yes. Uh, typically, I try to avoid contractor overhead and markup. And when you're bidding the project, Mike, you don't know what the pressure is, what you're going to need for the size of your meter. Depending, you know, we have to work with the water company to determine the flow rates and stuff like that. So typically, you want to avoid the 7 to 10% overhead and markup for the purchase of the meter. So we buy it out directly for the owner. And uh, connections to the electrical meter, the electrical meter typically supplied in them, but uh, lo and behold, you paid for that too. I've seen that. $22,000 yet. <clears throat> yeah, well, they charge for the main, the wire bringing it in and quite a bit. And even for the Jackson County Fairgrounds, what it was forty six thousand, they did do a contribution to aim to the like they did for the jail of you know twenty three thousand or whatever, and then you signed an agreement which supposedly if the co op makes money based on the usage that you get some some of those funds back during the course of the five years. Let's that, see that. So that answers your question. So. Yeah, I just thought it was abnormal that they don't pay for the meter installation. Uh, that was the connections to the meter that was on that change order. <laughs> like it's an ER recommendation that we go ahead and approve the change order. Unless there's further questions. I wish you'd go to the board. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the change orders for as for the Jackson County Law Enforcement Center as presented. All those in favor say aye. Yes. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. That another one? Yeah. Uh, Same one though, right? Yep. Just yeah, just for it. Uh the other thing I wanted to talk about okay. is I'm getting a price for the kitchen equipment and uh I got a price back for century laundry. For the purchase of a uh, commercial washer and dryer. Uh, I wanted to bring it for the board. I mean, this is something that we counted in when we were doing the estimating, but uh, washer and dryer, 
it's an 80 pound dryer and a, a 40 pound washer is uh, going to be in the range of $15,200 installed, fifteen six installed. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and get that purchased before the end of the year so that we don't. And where's that coming out of? That's both or just the dryer? That's both the washer and the commercial washer and dryer. Where's that coming out of? Uh, the project, but uh, it was estimated in when we were doing estimates for yeah, who, what who, we had to do on the mezzanine. Where's industry. the product coming from? Uh, Century Laundry and Distributing. If I remember right. Hiawatha. Or, did, was it a kind of assumed it was budgeted at like 20 or 22? Yeah, it was budgeted higher, yes. So uh, since I bought out two projects at the same time, I was able to get a little bit of better price for us. So, uh, price that's, as compared to any of our local. These are commercial washers and dryers, not residential. Yeah, but our local can do commercials also. Not this big. Uh, we did check with them, and they they had like three or four double stack and everything. So we're gonna get the residential washer and dryer from them, but they didn't have this type of unit. I, I got it. We did get a price from them. Andrew and uh, Frank got a price from them. Okay. We'd like the most to approve. Okay. I'll second it. I'd like a second to approve ordering. Yeah, the purchase the of the purchase. commercial washer. And, washer. Washer. and it is installed. And it is installed. Yeah. Installed. yeah. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Most carried. I need a little more information, John, after the meeting. Can I give it to you? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. It'll be 15 and 6 with the uh, uh, install. And it says prepay? No, we're not. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll take care of that. Okay. And uh okay, so this this says fourteen thousand one hundred and thirty-one. Yeah, fifteen hundred dollar install. So fifteen six. Let's okay. go even. Uh I did get a price that they have that wood painted on the garage that uh trim wood. And I'm trying to see if we can get some tie back and coil stock on that. I think it's going to benefit you in the future, you know, for maintenance. I mean, we can paint it, but I got priced to put the steel on it. It was way out of whack. I'm not going to. Where are we at? On what? There's wood the trim around the perimeter of the garage doors. Of the utility building? No, of the, the jail down. vehicle salad. So that's not covered in aluminum? It's. Painted right now, or it's supposed to be painted, and I don't think paint's going to hold. So don't normally that gets covered in flashing like aluminum. You can bend it, put it on there. You can put coil stock on it if it's treated lumber. You got to put tie back over it or something because uh, aluminum will react with the treated. Treated, but I just I've never had any luck with paint holding the treated lumber for very long. So I'm just examining. I'm surprised that that wasn't supposed to be covered and then caulked. I haven't seen any. A lot of there. times if it's uh, construction grade, like it was on the steel building, they, they have to cover it, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, this, I, I checked the details and it's not covered. It's painted, so. Hmm. I just looking at it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I don't understand the whole idea. I guess of using treated, and you could have just used regular lumber and covered it. And I disagree with it. Yeah. Or if you're going to paint it, well, you, you know, yeah. paint it after paint regular construction grade. So is that in? The architect work of it, or is that in 
I didn't draw the drawings, but I didn't either. So, that we'll was see what we can do on it. And uh, the epoxy flooring. Text them. They said, "Yeah, that's true." If somebody did a tour on Sunday and walked across the epoxy and that what it is, mm -hmm. that was correct. I wouldn't lead you guys astray. No, it just, I, I know it was like I said, it was an unfortunate mistake. And then, well, what, there's no cone <clears throat> stuff or ropes or nothing to say. Do not enter until nothing, it, nothing was taped off or anything. They did, and the next day came back in their footprint. Yeah, that area wasn't taped off, and <coughs> so there was an assumption nobody would go through it on the weekend. Yeah, there you go, assuming. <laughs> There's keys to the building. I would guess from right uh, uh, the key. It was locked, but uh, it's a beanhead code. It was just a mistake. And but when you're sticking to the floor, you ought to back up. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't move out there, right? Yes. <laughs> but hopefully, we'll revisit that. Or... Um. Yeah. I... I don't care. I mean, I I, I assume that we're going to have to pay it. Yeah. I mean, it was was it their mistake, of course. Yeah. So do you think I would make that motion to approve that change order? You still have it there? Yeah, I do. No. I'll second that. Both and second to approve the change order for the epoxy as presented. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. It's been carried. Just say two of them I give one in recent. They do have all the line sets set for the BRF system, so they're bringing the text in to start up that heating system in the front. It's now painted with one coat of paint, and they're starting to Put devices in and stuff up in the admin area and then pushing the log is the best one to get them over there. Are there any other questions for you? Nope. Oh, is it coming along as projected? Uh the upper mezzanine and whatnot. The masons are on the upper mezzanine now. So uh they're supposed to be done with the upper mezzanine block work by next week. That's coming along. Uh, the stairs and railings are sitting on site waiting to go in. Been working with the epoxy contractor and such. So things are moving along fairly well. Uh, I anticipate you're going to be through February or you know, March project. So, okay, well, we appreciate it. And I know it's a thing can be a struggle once in a while. Keep everything in order and everybody in order. That would got to be a telling task. Uh, yeah. Well, if I don't see you all before the Christmas, yeah, have a good holiday season here and uh, stay safe. safe and yeah, wherever you're going south, somewhere or what. I was down on the board last night. I said, uh, and my wife said, well, your daughter, Paige's going to be home Friday. I said, well, next Friday, right? I thought Christmas was next week. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm a little bit behind the eight ball. Yeah, it's, uh, might have to do some shopping. It's next week. Up. It's next Monday. Uh, yeah, no, it's yeah, this week. I thought it was this Friday. Friday. <laughs> I think we're going to change orders to the Together We Build. Or... No, I have an email. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. okay. All right. So, so you mentioned that. Change order is is that added on there the uh, installation or is that the current bill or what is that? This three thousand four hundred and fifty. No, for the the for the gas main. Gas main. Oh, you're saying to cross flowing and heating for the law enforcement. No, I'm center. talking about the installation for the washer and dryer. You so, said it was fourteen something. It was 14. Yeah, and then and then he said it was fifteen hundred to install. So actually, when you look at it. If you take the $14,431, let's see, what was it? Let me look. $14,131, add the $1,500 on it, it actually comes up to $15,631. Yeah, well, do it. So, so I just put in $15,631. Yeah. yeah. So, 
you're approving that, but no, we haven't paid anything. It no, but the installation. And I'm here. trying to get the installation down to a thousand dollars. Okay, so, so we approved the higher amount. That installation is not on that current invoice. It is not. Okay. No, and that's not an invoice. It's just a proposal. Okay. Yeah. So I still have to order it, but everybody's anticipating January first that we're going to have increases in steel and everything else. So I thought it was going down. I thought things were going down. That's what I heard. Yeah, I the inflation? No, I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see. Come on, it's election year. It's got to go down, don't it? It's a little early for that. <laughs> Thanks, Anything else? Thanks. Have a good holiday. You too. That's Thank amazing, you. though. Gas in Belgium is not 275, 297 over here. How can they do that? 20 miles. Todd, would you like to approach the board again? To win some Yeah. 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 So, I might have listened to talk to you about the tree and brush uh, quotes that we got in, you know? Yeah. Um, so, uh, talking to Donnie, we're going to check with, with Zurich, the the low bidder, but potentially, I guess one way to get the entire scope of the work done would be if we would have to change the contract we sent to with Zurich, but potentially we could say, change the contract that says we would pay up to, say, um, like list a dollar amount, say $150,000 out of current budget. So whatever work, and he wants to start work now. Whatever work he gets done, we would pay up to a certain amount. And then whatever he does after the fact, if he gets it all done, we wouldn't issue payment for the remainder till after July. What was the total, if I remember correct? Um, well, it's, it's not total, but... The four... Four. The four, there was 626, 1385, 626, and 397. Those are rounded to the nearest $100. What was the last one? 397. 300,000, you're talking. Yeah, 150, 150, roughly. Mm -hmm. So if we did 150, we would pay out of current fiscal and, and, Potentially, so we can go over 10% on any one budget category item. So under roadway maintenance, we got 4.483 million. And we can go up to 10% over that before we need to do a budget amendment. Um, so that's one option. We could get this done, pay for half of it out of current fiscal year, and then try and pay for the other half out of next fiscal. So you have it in your current fiscal. We don't, but we are allowed to go, like I said, over 10% on that budget category. Added. Well, I drove them, and I tell you what, they're in dire need of it. Well, I drove, I talked to Todd before this this morning. I said, is that just cleaning trees out, or is he doing the shrubs and the, the cedars and all? And it's everything. It's and down it's trees, easy. too. If they're laying down, they got to come out, too. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> it's some. It's going to be, it's, it's, it'll be majorly good. Well, it's 50 years gone by, you know. I'm, well, I'm sorry, but uh, they got neglected. Um, to me, a lot of them are liabilities to us. Yeah, and a lot. I mean, oh, directly overhanging the road, um, and this far from the road. Yeah, if some if part of it can be paid with some, you said carryover funds or whatever, and then we can allow that um, that addition in the budget for next year. It would be really identifying some, some or rectifying some trouble spots on. Some of our roads, I think it would be money well spent. So what I'm proposing, I guess, is that I we could we could um, we could edit the contract that we had initially, change the date, say we could issue payment of up to 150 thousand of the work before July one. After July one would be the payment of the remainder. And did you speak to him about this? Yeah. Well, Jane's calling him again just to verify. But he already said he wants to start now. He has no problem waiting to get paid because well, that's what the good. contract said before. Yeah. yeah. So the real the partial is, payment won't come until after. Do you have to like, August? Do you know August. where they would start? No, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> They'd but, be blocked almost, though. Correct. Well, they have to keep the road open. They do. Yeah, that's <laughs> we're not. Well, some of them are this bigger. Well, they're gonna have. They're gonna need to have some flaggers or whatever. Yeah. Just to, you know, while they're dropping some of those, because they're gonna. There's almost no way some of that stuff could come down without coming on. Yeah. So the real question is, 
two things. One, do you want us to edit the contract and execute the contract? And if we do that, then we're on the hook for the remainder of the 150,000 for next fiscal. I hear you. That's better than 300 in the next fiscal. Yeah. So what about, I guess my question is, what about fencing and stuff? If they destroy something? So they're 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 required to repair any damage they cause to adjacent property and reserve fencing. I would just say I would have them take pictures before and after because some of the fencing I saw along there is nice. Some well, of some of it's grown into it. You ain't yeah. even going. Yeah, and that's good. Yeah. And we, but we well, I'm be talking expected. about something nicer than that. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying right. they shouldn't be expected to put up a new fence because the old no. rusty stuff got grown into the tree and came with it. No. So so I just so there won't be no discrepancy. But uh, I guess I like that idea um, to split it. I do too. They're sure maintenance that should be done. It's maintenance yeah. that needs done, and then basically get it done. If you want to swap it, you're talking check. 150 that you intended to spend on the lighting that we don't need to. No, no. So we've already <laughs> nice <That's pride>. <laughs> But we already, I already budgeted for anticipating the income for the TSF. Okay. Grant. So it's a pass through. It's expense, yeah. and we already budgeted for yeah. the money. Nice try. No. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm in favor too. If you want to put it on next week's agenda or whatever, and we can officially approve it. I mean, you can get a contract approved with him. Yeah. So I'll talk. To, we'll edit the contract, and we'll 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 follow up with with Eric just to verify, and then uh, we'll we'll I mean we'll get a contract because I think he wants to start sooner than later. So. Um, we'll put it. We'll put it on for award, and then you guys can. We'll, we'll get it taken care of. So sounds good. All right, thank you. Right. Uh, what's the name of the company? Wizeric. Wizeric. W i e. Send it me. R o z e k. I think was Eric. Where are you from? What do you think I know? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, I just have the name. W I E Z O R E K Timber Company. We got, and then we got a bid from S2 and Brandenburg. Cool. I was going to guess Dubuque. <laughs> I can find it out. Yeah, all right. Research, aren't you? Uh, I will. I will. Our journalist. Yeah. Well. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks. How going? Your sidekick here, Jack? She is not coming. Okay. Well, then you've got the hot seat. You're up. Welcome aboard. She called me this morning and said she forgot she had a, uh, a meeting with uh, Robert Young this entertainment. Mm. She fenced in over there. Can't get it done. She fenced in. Sounds good anyway. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Well, we did have our. Um, uh, Eastern Iowa Mental Health meeting yesterday, and um, uh, the audit, we had our audit from uh, uh, Baker Tilly, and he said it was a completely clean audit. Um, there was no concerns. Um, it was extremely successful, and working with David uh, Farmer um, always is um, quite an experience, and so he said everything was fine, no problems. And um, one of the things that the uh, financial uh, David talked to us about yesterday is he is putting together some information about uh, finances, including per cost for service. And so we'll be getting that in the in the near future. Um, we also uh, uh, Eagle View, which is the hospital that was built over in Bettendorf about three years ago. Um, we have not been able, we haven't been successful in getting any information from them as to um, the services they're providing. They did give them to us uh, this month and it was in our packet, the services that they are providing and they will continue to do that. Um, they were really slow getting started mainly because they didn't have the staff to provide some of the services that we need. So, um, but now they have some of those uh, individuals on staff and they're able to do more for, more for us than they've been able to do in the past. So it's a, a step in the right direction. 
A big portion of our meeting yesterday was on challenge to success. Um, that's the school program. And um, they have reached 19,291 students K through 12. Um, they have nine schools in Cedar County, nine schools in Flinton County, only two schools in Muscatine, and they have 30 schools that they're providing services to in Scott County. And there are six schools in Jackson County that are receiving the challenge for change. We had a team from Challenge of Change yesterday that was there and they took us through some of the processes um, that they take. Um, and it was, it, it was really, it was very, very interesting. Um, uh, they also are offering training to people that want to become uh, a Challenge for Change instructor. And they said that they're, um, they had 70 signed up for the next session. Um, they're currently 29 trained, I guess, what she said in Jackson County, that are able to go into the schools and help help the kids. One so of the main they're identifying though, right? They're the trainees are just identifying. Yes. The program is not succeeding what we identify yet. Is that correct? Right. <laughs> right. But it is um one of the things they they one of the big things they talked about was their breathing exercise and they had this ball and you had to expand the ball and then you had to detract the ball. You had to expand it as you took your breath and then you had to put it back together as you exhaled. And it was important that she said, it's extremely important that when you are breathing, that you're breathing whole and not just taking short little breaths. But um, the, they said the kids are just eating it up. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's really, really been very successful. Um, we had a gentleman there who, um, I'm not sure what country he was from, but it was somebody that was very adept at yoga. And he was asking questions and she said, well, we don't do the same type of yoga that you're referring to. And she said, and so she explained it all to him. And I think in the end, he was okay with it. But he, he thought we were going in and teaching yoga to these kids and, and we're just helping them get through the day. Um, they talked about um, the waiting list for people that are needing services. And we've talked about that in the past, that the waiting lists are just, the waiting period of time is just criminal. But she said that the waiting list, um, they're putting together some tools to make the gap for students um, that are at the present time not even able to stay in school because they just cannot control them. So they're working on programs to help keep those kids in school. And um, she said that um, it's been pretty successful so far and they're continuing to do that, but they're also continuing to work with the Department of Health and Human Services to see what they can do to eliminate these long waits um, for people to receive services. So my question is, Jack, do they also have some type of parental guidance? Yes, they do. They have training so for, for these parents children, as well. What they can do with their children. Yes, they do. I they mean, that's also where it comes from. Pardon? That's where it initiates from. Yes, it absolutely yeah. is. It absolutely is that. And they're they're working with those parents and and faculty and the faculty are kind of um telling them what parents need some additional assistance and they're working to, to provide some of that. Um, we did have, um, at the end of the meeting yesterday, um, uh, we had a program from uh, um, Vera French. And there is, this sounds unbelievable, but there is a chair that they can purchase and they have one at the present time. And it is a, it is a chair that um, helps alleviate pain. And I need one of them. <laughs> I was gonna say, any, any, up. anyway, um, they have one chair at the present time and it's a 20 minute um, uh, session. And they actually, he, the way he explained it, they sat in the chair and they're kind of, um, uh, 
held still. I don't know if they- Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> anyway, there is a device that they find through one of your fingers where that reaches in your brain. And they can actually take this device and shoot it into that very section of the brain. And um, they say that even after two treatments, it's just phenomenal, the change that, that it creates. Well, he wants to purchase a second chair, and there is funding through uh, our carryover to purchase. And he said that he had um, gotten a, a quote, and this is half price that they're letting him have this for, and it's $74,700. And we couldn't take any action or discuss it really yesterday because it wasn't on the agenda. But it's something that the board is going to get some additional information and, and look at. But they said some of the people that have been receiving this treatment, after they've had four or five treatments, they have no more pain. They charge for this treatment? No. I think the chiropractor office should have one of them, by the way. Yeah. yeah if you can get it. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, we also uh, talked about our ending balance um, through the finances, and 80% um, of 224 dollars balance would be $13,639,677.79, and that would still put us 37.7% over the 5% that we're supposed to be at. So we are uh, trying to come up with some of the different uh, programs that, and as we've said before, the main thing that we can't provide some of these programs is there's nobody to do the work. So we're still working on So that. it seems like that balance has almost increased, Jack. Is it, that correct? It has increased because we haven't used, we, we were allowed to carry some funds over yeah. that were designated funds, but we haven't been able to add those designated services so that designated fund got added to the carryover. Buy more chairs. Pardon? So, more chairs. so is this yeah. going to be in legislation again? <laughs> you know, um, Lori's really concerned what the legislators are going to do. I mean, we all know that the state is Department of Human Services and Health and Human Services is looking at um, the various regions and trying to decide how they're going to best serve the people. I did get a an email I was happy about. Did you get it from, from Mary that the governor did approve a, additional money for early childhood Iowa? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's a plus, but we still are not, we still don't know what's going to happen like to the seniors and to anybody else. Um, that report has not been summarized and sent out to those people that need to see it. So we don't know what's going to happen with the the um, mental health board um, or our region. We we think we're safe, but we're not sure. We Depends to, on what they decide. We need to, we need to follow up with uh, NEI 3A because I'm hearing through the grapevine that Meals on Wheels is kind of going to be going away and going to they get mailed frozen meals that they can just microwave kind of stuff and. Some people don't have microwaves and different things, so there's been a lot of concern rising to that. So well, and they're I mean they're not serving any meals down here anymore. Well, did she talk a couple of weeks ago here that they were correct? Yes. Yeah. Mom's meals they were going Mom's to Mom's meals. Not yeah. but, but I don't think they're gonna be served at the center. No, no. they won't they're be served. Well, they're just gonna be house. delivered to the home. No. So you well, lose that, that's, I you think lose that connection. The, yeah, but I asked her when she was here, and she said that people that were had issues, they were addressing them issues like finding them microwaves and things. So, so was it Pat that was up at our meeting at Donna? What's her name? Donna. Mr. Yeah, Donna. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was talking about doing some different things too. Mm -hmm. One of the other things that Lori talked um uh, considerable about is um, the number of people in the jails in the five counties that are receiving services and um, they've been receiving six months of worth of services while they're in jail and then they can carry those services after mm -hmm. and they're paying for all of the meds that any of the prisoners are needing is coming from 
the mental health region. So the that's an expense that the jail used to have to pay, sheriff's departments used to have to pay, but they don't have to pay that anymore. Huh. Routinely. So is that just a mental patient though, or is that all of them? It is for meds, for mental patients. For mental, just yes. for the mental yeah. patients. You're kind of for their so mental, so mental I, health <laughs> meds. <laughs> mental that kind of covers their so, blood so pressure so meds or anything like that. With the dental bills and... No. No, you still have to pay to have a treat for it. <laughs> um, but we had um, a total this last year, we served 4,641 clients were served in our five county region. That's just mental health clients? Uh huh. That's yeah. it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's not adolescent though either. That, that that no, that would be a separate yeah. that would be a separate um, number that Christine uh -huh. would have to share with us, and he didn't hasn't said what that was. It was four thousand adults. That's what you said. Four thousand six hundred and forty one clients were served in adults. our region. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how does that compare to previous? I would say it's pretty pretty stable. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's ever changing, you know, and I, you know, that balancing is has been an issue for years and years. Again, well, without, you don't just go spend money to spend it. You got to be able to start a program and sustain it. So, and they will not be. I mean, we will get a payment in January. We probably will not get a pay, uh, the next, the second payment either. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see because we have to use up some of that carryover, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, if your balance is rising, I mean, yeah, that's going to draw a red flag to anybody. Well, we appreciate it, Jack. Is there anything we can do? I know it's ongoing for you. But, you know, the big thing is we make a huge difference. Well, we hope so. Yeah, yeah. we do. I mean, that's what we're striving for, is to make a difference and Hopefully you can change somebody's life around. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the whole goal. If it's if it's one or two, it's worth it, you know. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. So yep, have a great holiday, Jack. Awesome. Stay safe and happy and warm. <laughs> yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. Yep. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Anything else before the board this morning? Motion to adjourn. Second that. I have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Everyone have a safe and happy holiday.